All right, I got C Dog VA's first reaction to One Piece. Let's see how the monk likes One Piece. Let's check it out. So, Connor, you're the very first person out of the three of you that I get to talk about One yes. Piece. Which I know, right? It's <laughs> really strange, honestly. This is going to be a shock to everyone because no one knows I've been reading it. I haven't said anything. Oh, this is oh, like the first reveal, basically. Well, yeah, I'm not going to read any of the comments of this as well because, again, I don't want to be no, spoiled. Yeah. I'm still only up to, I think, volume 15 of One Piece. What is volume 15? So, he's in the Alabasta saga. Which is insane to think because of any. All right, I would love. I want to hear what he thinks about Barati and Arlong Park. Any other, if, if this is any other show, this would be a lot. Like right. I've read a lot, but in One Piece, it's nothing. Dude, it would be, like there's stories that are not even 15 volumes long. So, like, I, it's completely ruined my frame of reference for how long manga is. Like, right. every, normally every other manga has like a, I'm gonna say healthy uh, duration, whereas One Piece just it just feels insane. I've read so much. It takes so long to read 15 volumes. Absolutely, and I mean you can kind mm. of I don't even I think I have almost every one, but like that's kind of is it? No, this isn't all of them. It's not all of them. It's because because I, I have like all of them. 25, and it's and probably. It, <laughs> I have. I think the the manga is definitely better. I don't think I know, but I feel like some, there's something about early One Piece watching the anime, like hearing Nami cry and ask for help. Um, and the walk to Arlong Park with the badass music, or the going merry with the with the, the sad music, it really does add something of value. Uh, what up, Seller Clown? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. All of them, and you could make a chair out of it. I'm not kidding. You, you genuinely could. A throne. I, reading it, 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 it looks but like yeah, a the, throne. the manga is still better for sure. In my living room, it's like it's so stupid. Dude, it must take away so much space. Also, it does. I've realized that being a One Piece fan requires you to have a lot of. Room. Because you need to have real estate. You gotta have room to put it. Unlike me. <laughs> yeah. Where do you put? Or this? you could pay three dollars on Viz and get every chapter for free. Not for free, but for three dollars a month. Where do you? Where is all the One Piece? That's ba my room is fifty percent One Piece at this oh point. Oh my god! All right, I was thinking let's start it off with a couple of rapid fire questions okay. to catch you off guard. Okay. Okay. And then we can kind of like go into a more fluent conversation. Okay. So number one, what's your favorite character at the moment? Can I, okay, uh, I'm gonna meme this. In the English translation, it says Zolo. Solo? <laughs> Zolo. And I, I read, was reading it. Manga Night with the Five Gifted. Thank you, buddy. I have every intention to trigger you and all anime fans moving forward. Do it. I dare you. I, okay, Zolo is my favorite. Zoro, sorry. I see, fuck, I'm memeing it too much. Zoro is my But I'm also a fine man, man. I have respect and shit, so I'll gift you a sub and then make you mad. My favorite so far, or Sanji. Nice. I, I thought Nami was annoying, but now I like Nami too. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Nami's I have to go back. My room is 50% One Piece at this oh point. Oh my god. All right, I was... Did he, is he a Sanji fan? Let's fucking go. Thinking, let's start it off with a couple of rapid fire questions okay. to catch okay. you off guard. Okay, okay. And then we can kind of like go into a more fluent conversation. Okay. So, let's judge his taste. One. Number one, what's your favorite character at the moment? Can I, okay, uh, I'm going to meme this. In the English translation, it says Zolo. Zolo? <laughs> Zolo. Zolo's your favorite? No. I love it. I, actually, I think at the time... How do I say this? <coughs> I think... Fuck. <coughs> Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Where's my water? What's over here? I was fucking dying, man. Holy crap. I think Rise of the Shield here had a good start. And the community was kind of toxic about it. I liked it. And then... I read the manga because I actually enjoyed season one, and then it just kind of, I kind of, it kind of fell off. It wasn't, I wasn't absolutely in love with it. It was okay though; it wasn't bad by any means. Whew, sorry guys, my fucking, my lungs. What was I saying? I think at the beginning of One Piece, I liked Zoro. I think I, I still love Zoro. Zoro is one of my favorite characters in the series. I'm just trying to rem remember at the point that he's at. I love the Baratie and I love Sanji. But I think I may have liked Zoro a little bit more at this point. Because he hasn't finished Alabasta. I think after Alabasta, I started to be like, oh, Sanji's kind of sick. And I, I read, was reading it. I, okay, Zoro is my favorite. Zoro, sorry. I see, fuck, I'm memeing it too much. Zoro is my favorite so far. Or Sanji. Nice. I, I thought Nami was annoying. Or but... Sanji. He can't decide. Now I like Nami too. Okay. Nami's backstory kind of made me think, okay, all right, fine, all right, fine, all right, you got me. But but Zoro was, has been badass consistently, and it's been awesome. Like he's so funny. D does no one like Usopp yet? Is it? Uh, it is takes this a part while. Of the story. I was gonna yeah, say. it takes a little bit of time, but I I loved Usopp. Even in Arlong Park, I thought he was very funny. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I figured they made him annoying, but in this... It... I just didn't like him in his, in his arc. What was it? Fucking Orin Sierra, Sierra Village. I wasn't a huge fan of Usopp. But by the time like Along Park was finished, I'm like, I like Usopp. Hell yeah. Currently, I don't like him that much. But he has his moments. I feel like even for a character that is meant to be annoying, he's really fun. And, right. he, ha and he has moments of like getting over the cowardice, right? Yeah. Which I like. But uh, yeah, what's up with the weird translations? Dude, it's, yeah. So I'm not sure if you're aware, there's basically an unofficial translation of many things. Yeah. And then the official Viz version. Yeah. And the Viz version kind of had some interesting translating uh, choices. Well, I, okay, so one of the things. Um, as long as we admit Luffy is overrated, then we could talk while well, you're just wrong, bro. Luffy's one of the best running protagonists. Just because he's a simple-minded idiot doesn't mean he's a bad character. If anything, him being so simple-minded and just being himself and being free and doing whatever he thinks is right regardless of the consequences, whether it's helping a marine or helping a pirate or stealing some meat, whatever, he does whatever the fuck he wants. Um... And he does what he think is right at the time. And in a world full of corruption, I think that just it just it works so perfectly for a manga about a pirate who wants to be free. You know, that's why he wants the One Piece. And having him, how do I? I, I, I can't even find the words to do it. But him being a simple-minded idiot is kind of what makes him such a good protagonist in this world of like corruption, because he just does whatever he wants to protect his friends or achieve his dreams, and I love it. And it inspires, like, him having the hardest goal, the hardest, like, dream of all, being the Pirate King, inspires the people around him, because he goes at it, he's like, I'm gonna fucking become the Pirate King or die trying. And it's inspirational, too. He's a perfect MC for his story, for his world, you know? It works so well. I've, one of the things about these videos is that I'm not... I'm not telling anyone I'm reading One Piece. Obviously, they're going to find out now, but I'm, but I'm not going to talk about it right, until I'm right. done. Yeah. Um, is that I'm going to talk about this and probably have a bunch of weird stuff that I picked up from the Viz versions because I'm reading yeah. it all physically in the English right, right. and the Viz. So I'm going to be like, yeah, man, I love Zolo and I love I love the the water guns in that yeah, one scene. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. what what's going to happen? I don't. Yeah, the comments are going to be probably brutal once you put that video up. But uh, it's, I'm going to be like, it's not my fault. It's the only thing I can read. I, I, I want to read no, it you physically. Should. And you should, and you should. It's good. Why Zolo? Why? Zolo. It, I read apparently because uh, I Googled it because I was like, I was really confused. It was one of those things where like it was um, oh, the Mandela that? effect, where, where you're like, you swear you heard it differently. Absolutely. And I did hear it differently because it was Zoro. I, I Googled it, it and apparently it's because they were worried about copyright with um, Zoro, like the swordsman. Really? Is that like it? Like the actual, because obviously Zoro is Zorro really? probably named oh. after Zoro yeah, in some yeah, way. Yeah. I remember that. It's actually true. So apparently they were quite worried about that. Oh, I don't know that if that's it? true. I don't know if that's true. That's what I read. Oh, that's interesting. I just assumed it was because of the Japanese at all, which can be kind of like an it L, can be L, L, R. L R. Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. But maybe that's why they felt safe doing the Zolo. <laughs> so I'm like, let's definitely pick the lame name <laughs> to be sure. Yeah, Zolo sounds shit. Zoro sounds cool. <laughs> I think Zoro is my favorite. Again, I'm up to, up to volume 15, so we just started uh, Drum Island. Mm, oh, nice. Um, and probably my favorite scene so far. Oh, he just started Drum Island. So he hasn't seen anything with Mr. Prince yet. That, like, the first introduction would be on Little Garden, which I believe is after Drum Island. Or before. Maybe it's before, because that's when Nami gets, like, stung by something. And then the doctor on Drum Island helps her. So he has seen that. Uh, which kind of came out of nowhere was the Zoro versus the the swords uh, guy who turns up, Mihawk? basically kicks his ass, then leaves. But yeah, it was so yeah, yeah. epic. And it's so epic because it shows how like you we think these guys are badass and already, and then it shows them how big the world is in comparison and how much they have to grow and develop and get stronger to achieve their dreams and how how hard these dreams are, you know. And it was Mihawk? so hype. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. Like. Suddenly this guy just yeah. turns up, and then now Zoro is like rock hard because he wants to fight him and prove his worth. And this was so cool. Um, that was probably my favorite scene. So really? Far. Yeah, so you're, you're already taking my questions away now. Oh, okay, okay, like, shit, sorry. Just I, I'm himself. just talking about it. Okay, sorry, sorry. No, I'm just sorry. kidding. It was really cool, though, because like same when I read, first read it, it was 
as you said, you kind of expect it to be like something that comes at the end of the story, yeah. kind of, and yeah. it just happens right away. There was no like, warning. Kicked. No, yeah. Like, it just like turned <laughs> off. But he was like, all right, okay. But it's kind of nice though. I feel like it's always cool to like set up the character and then give him like a yeah. big like drawback kind of yeah, right yeah. beginning. Yeah. Now we know that like. I'm probably going to get some payoff later off. I'm sure One Piece fans yeah. are like, yeah, yeah. I know it's going to happen. It's got to happen. It's the whole point of him existing. <laughs> we'll find out. This is why I'm, I'm gonna reading. It's going to be so hard, like, not spoiling <laughs> you, bro. <I'm> like, <laughs> bro I have to be so right, careful. Right, I'm, like, right. I'm like, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? All right. Um, you already said, like, that was your favorite fight and favorite scene, I guess, so far. Maybe not my favorite fight, but okay, my favorite what was, your, what was your favorite fight then so far? Oh, I think my favorite fight... <sighs> There's been a lot of good ones. I find it. it, Initially, I was a bit kind of confused with the fights because I couldn't really figure out if he was going for funny fights or if he was going for more serious fights. But now it's finally felt like after about 10 10 volumes, yeah, it finally felt like it got to a point where, okay, we're going in the more serious direction, which kind of taking it a bit more seriously. It's like by episode 17, when Luffy fights Don Cree, you could tell it's fucking serious, you know? And I like that a lot. And I think definitely uh, the restaurant fight was yeah, probably like, the sign where it felt like, okay, finally. Because the character just gets gassed. <laughs> like, like, it's just like, it goes from like a clown yeah. who's like really funny and wacky and whoa, we got to tie him up. We're not going to kill him to like, I'm literally going to gas this yeah. guy. And it's like, Oda, bro, what happened? And like, it's like, I think like, we talked about this. It's really yeah. interesting because you kind of feel like he's trying out so many different yeah, things. Like, yeah. is it a comedy? Is it like really dark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it kind of like it finds a bit more of a constant, but nonetheless, throughout the story, it like kind of switches things up depending on the setup. Yeah, yeah. There'll be moments yeah. of humor. He loves doing the things yeah, with yeah. The Looney Tunes eyes popping out. Yeah, that, yeah. that always happens whenever Usopp just says anything. <laughs> it seems to be. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I the that's definitely my favorite fight. I think so far. I mm. also really like the two giants a oh, lot. Oh yeah, those two were so fun, and especially you know their their kind of uh, closure to the. Look at him liking kind of liking Brock Tay maybe a little bit more than Arlong Park. They're close for me. I like Brock Tay slightly more for some reason. Cause I think that's what made me fall in love with One Piece. But Arlong Park's really good too. I thought he was. I thought he was gonna say Arlong Park, but I'm surprised. The arc right. where they like hit them fucking right, right. That was so hype, man. And uh, also <laughs> the Arlong fight was hype. Although I felt it kind of just ended. Yeah, it was pretty fast. That's true. I thought that in my in, my, in the video when I was recording it, yeah. I was like, oh, I, he's definitely gonna come back because like he, he's not done, right? He yeah, just got yeah. kicked. And then and then he just it just ends. And then they suddenly have a happy ending and they all leave. And I'm like, yeah. what? What? Especially in early One Piece, I feel like the pacing was a lot faster. Oh, it's breakneck, right? And yeah, and like recently, it's been getting like the recent arc yeah. that's been going on. Um, that's just been like over 200 chapters at this point. So <sighs> that entire manga. Yeah, it is, it is, it, it is. In, in it literally Tawano is. is. But it, it, like, it happens more as you would expect it, where like the villains get back. I remember when I was in grade 9, towards the end of grade 9, I started watching Dress Rosa weekly. And then I was in grade 12, and I'm like, Dress Rosa's still going, what the fuck? And it just ended. Like while I was, I'm like, I, I, all of high school is just me weekly watching fucking Dress Rosa. Got more and more, and it's like kind yeah, of this more yeah. drawn out fight. But all, yeah. Arlong literally got like kicked once yeah. and then just didn't get back up. It was a hype kick though, man. His foot went through the building. The entire building collapsed off of this one fucking strike. Yeah. And then it, that was it. And I was like, wow, okay. I feel like cool. in that regard, it was more about like the emotional definitely, story behind definitely. it, kind of. Yeah. It, it was definitely Nami's redemption arc. Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely. what that whole arc was. And kind of helping Usopp have a bit yeah. more character development. But, you know, right now, I think, and I'm sure a lot of One Piece fans will maybe agree with me. I don't know if they will. Right now, it just feels like Luffy is too OP. Rumor is that Arlong will beat up Hody Jones. Hmm? Is Arlong coming back into the story? Is he coming back to the new world? Oh. Uh, that's the, I think the main issue with it is that <laughs> it's almost boring to watch Luffy right. fight in a way because you just know right now that he it's steals with everyone. Yeah. Uh, Can't what, wait till he sees him fight Crocodile. Whereas the other characters, even like Zoro struggles, Sanji is just busy off flirting all the time. Yeah. Uh, and then occasionally kicks the shit out of people. Which yeah. I, 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 find. I love how they have to nerf Zoro before every fight. It's like he's just always super super wounded 
fuck with. I like that. I like that. Sanji's fun. <laughs> Sanji like is like never there half the time, yeah. but turns up when there's a woman. So I, I kind of. That's pretty much how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I kind of get it. <laughs> I don't actually remember. It's like the fuck, I forgot to lost. tweet. I forgot to tweet about the HelloFresh thing. God damn it. My bad, guys. I needed to. We'll do it live right now, boys. If you haven't already, use HelloFresh code POG. Where is it? Fucking POG HF sixteen hundred for sixteen free meals across seven boxes plus three surprise gifts. And I think your first order is free shipping. I see. It's an easy way. It's an easy way to support your boy. It's like I think you could get it for like twenty bucks for like a your first set of meals or something. So it is actually like it's a pretty good price. Good math, Viva. A thing. In Zoro getting lost. Yeah, that's uh, like a big meme usually. He, yeah, actually, he has been lost a few times. All right. Or he's just not there. Right. That's kind of like the big meme with I him. Think like, really? yeah. <laughs> Dude, fucking on Seer Village, it was so funny. Zoro ran around the fucking island so that he could find the fight because they knew he was on the coast. He's like, if they're on the coast, if they're on the beach, if I run around the island, eventually I'll get to them. It's on the north side, but they don't know which way is north. So Luffy just ran to the coldest side of the island. He'll get there eventually. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> he like gets lost everywhere. You know what the weird thing about being an anime fan is and not having read One Piece is that you pick up so much weird One Piece like references. info and references mm. that mean nothing to you. Right. And then when you start reading One Piece, it's like it's like being in like a dementia state where you're just slowly recovering. Yeah. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. whoa. I know Zoro. I know who Chopper is. I didn't know what a Chopper is. <laughs> what it is, I, yeah. like, I, I, I know what Chopper is a character that Dude, exists, yeah. but I have no idea why. And I, I just saw Chopper for the first time. But it doesn't look like Chopper. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I'm yeah. like... Well, well, they kind of change, right? Because right, there's right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so interesting. That's kind of how I feel with JoJo, honestly. Because I yeah, know all the... What's the TikTok trend right now? I don't know. And all probably, the reference, yeah, but I've true. never really watched it. So I actually like. Yeah, I think Cho Chopper looks a lot more, a lot more cute these days. That's for sure. I told you, like he was one. always cute, but he looks a lot more cute these days. Post time skip. Watched the the first season and then kind of stopped. <laughs> but while while I was watching the first season, I was like, I know that meme. I yeah, know the yeah, Dio yeah, meme. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Call no Dio. <laughs> You know all the memes. That's why you gotta watch yeah. JoJo. But One Piece doesn't have many memes. I, like, Not go as outside many. of One Piece. Fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. Like One Piece just is like generally you kind of know the characters mm. even if you haven't read it, but it's not as memed if you as, as you said. Briggs, I know you were a Seven Deadly Sins guy. Have you been keeping up with Four Nights of the Apocalypse? I have not. Is that the sequel? Or is that just like the meme show that's similar that's also called Seven Deadly Sins? Or is it actually the sequel? Because I have not. Said if you haven't read the story. Yeah, I mean One Piece is so prolific that I knew all the the main cast's names. Yeah without having ever really That's consumed so much. Right. Uh, it's weird because I did watch One Piece in my childhood, the four kids version. <laughs> nice. uh, very, like, but, but you could never like get the episode in order, so you uh, kind of yeah. just watch sporadic. That's how I watch Pokemon, man. I watched it in just completely out of order all the time. And every once in a while, you get like an actual, like the fucking Pokemon League one. You're like, let's go! And then it's like, nothing really happened. It was like halfway through a fight. It's like, I'm never going to find that out because I'm eight and I don't know how to use the internet things so while i was reading the arlong fire i had this really weird memory of right. remembering this kick i think hello so the code's only for us only i think you can order anywhere but us only is the uh the discount code just destroy this house right and viewing it so i was like oh wow i have seen this i just don't remember anything at all you don't yeah. know until the scene shows yeah, yeah, yeah um i guess you get like a lot of these moments where it kind of bleeds in from like everyday life obviously yeah, as you say yeah. like you talk about anime a lot anyways yeah. And so you're kind of aware with, like, certain th scenes. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and you'll watch videos about anime characters, and then right. Luffy will get referenced, and you'll be yeah. like, what is a what is a gum gum something? Right, I, like, right. what the fuck is that? Like, this sounds stupid. <laughs> like, it's actually interesting, because I, I always see, like, people commenting, like, oh, you guys should read One Piece and stuff. Yeah. You never talk about One Piece, but I feel like Gant and Joey mention it fairly often, right? Yeah, I think they haven't spoke about it on the podcast, at least, because I'm right. like, please don't, because I want to read it, Fair so enough. please don't spoil it for me. So they've been very kind, but I'm sure when we... When I've caught up and I've finished it, I'm sure we're going to be talking about it a lot. So this um, video came out in June. I wonder how much further he's gotten. There's just a lot. Dude, like, dude. One Piece is dude. long. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm not even sure. Is there, like, anything comparable? Probably not. Like, in that length. <laughs> Watching all of The Simpsons, yeah. I guess. How long, I is, how long is all of JoJo? Like, there's, like, a couple of... JoJo, I think, has... Oh, I think JoJo actually has more chapters maybe than One Piece. I, it's more, vol it's going on more volumes, but like less chapters and less episodes, if that makes sense. 
One Piece. Yeah, it's like from the 80s, 90s. How many JoJo <laughs> chapters? But then also the chapters have gotten longer as well. And there's no way there's over like a thousand chap um, episodes of JoJo's. There's 131 volumes. Okay. JoJo oh, is no. really long. But I think Let's see. I feel like One Piece might get there. The thing, <laughs> the thing with JoJo is that also I, I think even though it has more volumes, I think it has less uh, like content. I oh think. yeah, that makes because sense. I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't exactly. JoJo's overhyped, by the way. Is everything overhyped? Anything good manga night? Probably not. You just dislike everything, eh? You know, I'm not that big of a manga guy. Right. But JoJo is really easy to consume because you can read a part, mm. stop. Right. So, oh yeah, it's 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 a lot more episodic than yeah. A lot of people pieces. who would say that JoJo's not episodic. <sighs> Sorry guys, it's not episodic. It's just you could watch part one and part two, and then just stop because part three is its own entity and part four is its own entity. There's a little bit of carryover, like every episode attaches to each other. But once you finish the part, the next part's going to be completely different. It might have a character carryover or two. An older version of them because they got older and stuff. But for the most part, you could um, each arc or each part's pretty separate. Friends, I haven't read all the jokes. Even I haven't read. I haven't right. read uh, all of eight. I've only read a bit of eight, and I don't know why I haven't read eight yet. It's just kind of I want to get around to it. It's yeah, yeah self-contained. Right. But I, like, I, I think people would argue I'm a big JoJo fan, and even I haven't read eight, right? Because it's like you yeah. don't need to necessarily read the next part. Right. And a lot of people are anime only, and there's only yeah. six and a half. Yeah, I got to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh well, let's continue watching. We'll do well, that five after. and a half, I guess. Seasons. Season six right. is halfway through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to change into a judge over here, but you should. You should. You should, I, you should after, after. After. When I get into it, we'll make a video on it as well. <laughs> I, I will say with One Piece, um, so far, there have definitely been moments that are really boring mm. in it. What was really like? Know. What was like the most annoying or like boring moment you can remember where you were kind of like, ah, oh, that's kind of like dragging on. Um. I was reading the arc on the one where they are on the giant island with the uh, two yeah. warriors, and yeah. like I, you know, this the whole uh, what is it? Uh, is it Baroque? Baroque is no Baroque works. Yeah, Baroque Baroque's assassins. Yeah, and like I didn't mind some of them, but like assassin number three, that fight was so boring. Oh, like, with the wax candles. With the wax candles, right. I was I was like, what, dude? Come Zoro on, was man, prepared this is to lame. cut off his It's leg. like they're stuck in wax, <laughs> right. and it's and it's like there's this really cool moment where yeah. Zoro's about to chop off his legs to get out right. the wax. I'm like, I mean, it's wax. Like, yeah, surely yeah. you can just like cut it up or like. <laughs> I mean, it's this is the and this is the dumbest way to kill someone <laughs> as a as a villain. Like, right. why are you just putting them in wax and letting it slowly drip on them? Surely, if you have wax powers, mm. just envelop them in wax and kill them. Yeah. Like this, this fight was so boring and dumb, and it felt and so, so like stally. Right, like right. it was like, oh, well, we gotta have some kind of climax to the island. Yeah, and, it was and... kind of like a unnecessary fight, yeah. maybe because like the, the giant. So the the overall saga, I think, is good. But I agree that there's some. It's a it's a it's one island after another to get to Alabasta. And Little Garden is like not amazing. I liked it. <laughs> but it's not amazing. These are kind of like the main thing. They were so there. cool. Yeah. And they could have yeah. carried that part alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. The whole assassins felt very like Looney Tooney as well, where they're like, whoa, we, we're the best. To answer your prior philosophical question, Berserk and Code Geass is not overhyped. Fair? Bad guys, yeah, we didn't yeah, actually yeah. do anything. It's like, oh, we'll stop them. I would say there's a couple of like more goofy villains really? coming okay, up okay. also, but it, it like it makes yeah, it's really hard for me not to say anything yeah, that's yeah, spoiling. Yeah, yeah. The thing that makes me keep reading, even when there's a few boring moments here and there, and there's not many of them, I will say mm. that so far it's been really entertaining. Uh, is that I, I'm I'm trusting One Piece fans that it's as good as they say it is, and I'm, I'm going I'm going to keep going regardless, right? Because. Why are people so obsessed with this thing if it wasn't that right, good, right? right. And like, I'm, I, I like Shonen, so I'm sure, sure. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Right, right now, right, like, if right, you had to give right. it a rating out of ten, right now, oh, seven yeah. out of ten. Seven out of ten oh, already. It's, oh, that's good. It's, it's, that's a relief. It. Oh, it's solid. Yeah. It's probably gonna get better from here only. Because there's been some arcs. There's been some fights, like the restaurant yeah. part. The entire restaurant part was just such a yeah. joy to read. Yeah. Like uh, Shinji's backstory. Not Shinji. Sanji. Sanji. Sh fuck my god. Oh, yeah. Shinji. <laughs> All good. <laughs> like Sanji's backstory. Yeah, right. Oh my I'm so God. happy he loves the Bar Baratier. Underrated arc. <laughs> Even Galleon. <laughs> <laughs> Sanji. I, I think, yeah, Sanji's my favorite character. As of right now, definitely my favorite character. Sanji, Buggy, Zoro, Luffy.
His backstory was amazing. The, every character in that arc was Bill Flamingo. Just really entertaining. Mm. The villain, although, yeah, obviously we're going to win. Right. I didn't really mind. It, it felt like it was going right. to... The stakes were there. Every, everything felt good in that arc. And then Zoro's part. Like, that was Probably such 10. a strong moment mm. for me. That was like a 10. Um, I will also say you're still stuck in the period where we're like talking early 2000s, yeah, if yeah, at yeah. all. It's crazy. So it's like 2000, 2001, 2002. So obviously, this like just the story. Like Barate may have, may have even been late late nineties, like nineteen ninety nine. Type itself is still. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what Val's reaction is to the Barate. Let me know. Still in that period, mm -hmm. also, and the art style develops a lot more. In in general, I feel like you can kind of tell with most stories that are this long yeah. and that like are successfully that long. You can also kind of tell the the author growing over time. Yeah, 100%. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, one thing I I really like about it so far is that even though in some ways it does feel a little dated, like it feels like a two thousands right, yeah, yeah. uh, show when I'm reading it. I mean, the art style early on, especially, is like very two thousand. Absolutely, I kind of dig it though. That's I really like the early art style. Nostalgic. Like, it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Like it yeah. feels. It's really clean as well. Like a lot of manga, because you see that it's you know it's kind of shaky in the start. Yeah. Obviously not nowadays. Everyone's like insane. Oh, you have to, like, otherwise you don't yeah, make it. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. But like back then, it was kind of like you know you get they kind of get shaky and then like JoJo's looks interesting in the start right. and gets a, a lot more interesting i'd say uh visually but it, it gets it more interesting visually but it gets higher quality jojo's 100 percent uh but yeah no it, it's it's really easy to read like it looks amazing nice. um i really like that they've he keeps sprinkling in information that i know will become relevant later on but yeah. i'm talking like way later oh yeah because there's, there's just been a bunch of things mentioned like okay I, I know this is going to be a, a payoff thing because I've heard this name a million times, right. but they mentioned Blackbeard mm. the first time, and I know that Blackbeard is going to be a thing that is hype because people, like, years ago were like, oh, my God, did you watch the Blackbeard <laughs> thing, bro? It was insane. So I've heard about that. Now. Right, right. So I know that's going to be a thing, but the, it's been hinted so early on, mm. and other things have been hinted that I'm kind of, yeah. you know, like the Zorro fight with, um, I forgot the guy's Mihawk, name. Mihawk, yeah. That, that was hinted on really early, and I'm guessing we're not going to get a payoff for a while. So... There's a lot of things where I like that they keep men. By the way, did you see the tour they did of Oda's house for Japanese television last month? I did not. Can someone link me that? Interesting thing. Absolutely. And then if I remember it, I'll be rewarded later on. Dude, <laughs> there is legit like stuff you're reading right now that you just read. Yeah. That like we kind of know will have a payoff, but yeah. that still hasn't happened in the story. So. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'll still wait. His, so his office has got to be like the crazy person office where it's like fucking red line. Dude, like... I think there's an image. Let me see <laughs> like, how does he keep track of all this? It's shit? ridiculous. He has like folders and like folders. Really? Yeah. I like it's It's making me stressed thinking about how he's going to tie this all in cohesively. I think there's like this image of him just like sitting in this pile of like paper. <laughs> it looks like this. Oh my god. It's just like stuffed. With like research and so, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up on Holy screen, but it's what? absolutely ridiculous. How can you work in that? The dude? thing is, like, he also takes like so much inspiration from real life events and locations. Yeah. So he has like all these encyclopedias and whatever. Huh. Yeah. Though I feel like he's really private as a guy in general. Yeah, yeah, so there's yeah. not so much you know about him. A lot of a lot of mine are. Fair there. enough, I feel like. Man. Let me ask you this then. Okay, okay. If you had to kill off one character, or you could kill off a character, you had the you, you were able to because yeah. they're annoying, you don't like them, or whatever. Like who would? It be? I feel like the bait answer is like Usopp. Right? It's gonna be oh, get rid of Usopp. He sucks, dude. <laughs> but I feel like that's the point of Usopp. He's meant yeah, to right. suck. Yeah. Like he's meant to be like absolutely the loser who I'm I'm hoping has some kind of you know get his moment. Yeah, which I'm guessing he will because uh, you maybe. know God I mean, Usopp. Honestly, baby. <sighs> yeah, he's meant to be the more realistic character thrown into this group of powerful guys with insane dreams and he's the coward and he has to overcome that you know get stronger overcome his cowardice he wants to be a strong warrior of the sea um he's inspired by them but he's the normal guy and now he's just getting thrown up against like insurmountable odds and he has to push through the suck dude oh fuck dude oh no so far like luffy's the most boring 
No is that way. Fa- is that allowed? You're allowed to say that. Like, I mean, it's, <laughs> is that like, like fighting, a crime in Japan? Like, no, not at all. Exactly. Like, I think it's really fair. It's actually like, I think Luffy as a character in general doesn't like, obviously throughout the story without giving too much away, there's like moments where he develops as a character. Yeah. But he's more or less already a pretty, like as you can tell, like, he's yeah. already strong. He's already yeah. like a yeah. kind of good leader at the beginning. Yeah. So he's he's not changing as much and not hasn't has as many flaws I would say as yeah, like yeah. some of the of most of the other characters. So it's it's Definitely. weird to say I think especially at that stage where you're at. And you know every other character we've had some really deep backstory yeah. which has kind of explained why they are. And Luffy we just haven't really been told anything. He's That's just one a- thing I love about One Piece. Most characters have a backstory and it kind of make it it makes sense that they act the way they act and they they are the person they are because of those backstories. He, he uses those backstories to shape them as individuals and their actions make sense based on that. I love, I love that about One Piece. Plus the backstories are all super sad and you fall in love with the characters. A weird kid. Right. He's basically gone from Hunter Hunter right now, but but adult. Yeah. Right? I knew something like that. It's like 12 or something. I don't fucking know. Oh, gone is like, sense. yeah, fucking child. Yeah. Uh, like, gone is almost parallel to Hunter Hunter in the first part, but right. also gone changes as well, and gone grows as a character in Hunter right. Hunter. So and say, I'm guessing... Maybe, would, you, would you agree that gone kind of goes like dark, right? Like yeah, he kind Gon of has does, this yeah. negative character arc where he goes like completely nuts at some point. But that's what makes Gon also. Oh yeah, is that it's absolutely. Like, Gon is like, what happened if Gon all those- has very little, like has like a, a weird sense of morality or if he lacks some, some morality sometimes, if that makes sense. And I can't find the words to explain what I'm trying to say right now. But I feel like he's like a very, you think he's a very generic, typical shonen protagonist and he is. And then he's, you realize he's not later on, or he's slowly as time goes up by. But I think I still think he's not the strongest protagonist. But the group of them, him and like, him in combination with Kalua, you fall in love with the characters and Karapika Kar- and Leorio. It's a, it's a good group, and the villains are even better. Like the villains are stronger than the main cast. I think things had actually yeah. happened to him, which is like they would make you maybe make bad decisions. Yeah, which Gon probably much. makes some bad decisions sometimes. I mean, he's kind of a parody also on like the classic shonen character. Because yeah, right, as you right, say, right. like just like Luffy or like many other shonen heroes, he just like starts off as just like, I'm strong and yeah. like always like ginky and everything. Yeah, yeah. But then he goes downhill at some point, yeah. You know, like Hunter Hunter is my favorite shonen mm. uh, of all time. Mm, it's really and good. It's, it's, yeah, there are similarities right now between Hunter Hunter and Hunter. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially the starting. Like, is Hunter Hunter is notorious for having like, kind, of yeah. a, kind of a slow start. You know, uh, it doesn't really kick off until a few right. episodes in. Um, but yeah, One Piece is definitely a slow burner. I think that's one For thing sure. I learned. Dude. For sure. It's, it's, it's hard as well, because I'm also reading all of it on camera. And it's, oh, it's like, sometimes yeah, I want to yeah. read it, but I don't want to read it on camera. Right. So it's like, oh, I just don't read it. But, but I'm, trying to, I'm trying to catch up. I feel like time. if you have that pressure, it's probably a lot harder. Yeah. yeah, but I'm trying to sit down and at least read, like, when I do read it, try and read at least right. three to uh, six volumes. Because you're kind of also interacting with the camera and, yeah. like, you want to share your... Uh, but, yeah, I'd say if this video comes out, I'm going to ask you, please, don't talk to me about anything that happens <laughs> after volume 15. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to read any of these comments because yeah, I don't want to yeah. know. I don't want to... I'll, I'll read it after. I'll read it after and I'll see what you guys thought yeah. of old me that, that didn't know about One Piece. Yeah, please be kind also. Yeah, nothing on Twitter and so on and so forth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please don't cancel me, One Piece fan. <laughs> oh, good. They won't. I think, yeah, I think yeah. that's a really, yeah, good, yeah. really good first tag. I, All right, well, yeah. thanks Thanks so much for I, sitting down and giving this exclusive preview. Thanks, thanks for honor. No, 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 it's good. It's good fun. It's I want really to talk cool about video. it. It's, it's really I, cool. I want to talk about it. This is a really cool video. Yo, what's up, boys? How's it going? I just realized I literally went into reacting to something else right away, so I didn't do an outro. So I hope you guys enjoyed Shimpaku, and I'll see you all in the next one, all right? Later.